Welcome to part 3 of the video series on how I constructed this arts and crafts style round table. This video focuses on the joinery that connects the lower cross members to the legs. I made two different types of joints. On the authentic table, there's a through mortise and tenon joint that's been pinned with dowels. To make this joint, a mortise is created that goes all the way through the leg. This will receive the tenon from the lower cross member. On the imposter table, there's a shallow mortise on the front of the leg that receives a plug to simulate the through tenon. And on the back side of the leg, there's a pair of matching mortises that each connect with a floating tenon. I'd like to show you my method for making mortises on the router table. I have a modified tenon jig that slides back and forth in the miter track with two stops that limit the travel of the tenon jig. The distance that's created between the stops is the width of the resulting mortise. I've adjusted the tenon jig so that it centers the mortise on this leg. It's time to make the through mortises for the traditional mortise and tenon joint. I'll use the motorized router lift foot pedal to bring the bit up into the work and create the mortise. As I move the workpiece back and forth, I'm gradually increasing the bit height using the foot pedal. Now I've stopped before the bit came all the way through the board. And this is on purpose. If I let the bit come all the way up through the board for the through mortise, I'll probably experience tear out as the bit exits through the top of the board. So to make the mortise all the way through the board, I've set up the tenon jig with the stop block on the other side I'll remount the board and cut the rest of the through mortise. The bit should come up in the exact same place as the first mortise and make a nice clean mortise all the way through the board. perfect alignment. The routing operation takes care of most of the work for the through mortise, but we still need to square up the mortise using chisels. I've clamped a board to the top of the leg that allows me to rest my chisel against it so I know that I'm running the chisel perpendicular down into the leg. A nice sharp chisel makes quick work of squaring up these mortises. For the through mortise and tenon joint, it's really important to have a nice clean looking mortise on the outside of the leg. Where the tenon comes through, they have to match exactly. To get the look of a through tenon on the imposter table, we make a shallow mortise on the outside of the leg that will receive a plug that simulates the through tenon. On the back side of the leg, we'll make a mortise that will receive a floating tenon or loose tenon that connects the leg to the cross member. The mortising operation is the same as before. I mount the piece into the tenon jig and move it back and forth while raising the bit height with the foot pedal. The depth of the mortise for the loose tenon is about one and a quarter inches. Now we need to make the shallow mortise on the opposite side of the leg. To do this, I've just moved the stop block to the other side and cut a very shallow mortise, about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. Here's how the loose tenon fits into the leg and on the other side you can see the shallow mortise that will receive the plug. We just need to square up the shallow mortise to receive that false through tenon plug. Making this shallow mortise to receive the false through tenon plug really makes this joint indistinguishable from the real thing. The plug will be a nice snug fit, will get glued in place, 
and unless you dismantle the table, you'll never know the difference. Well that does it for this part of the video, but I invite you to check out the all new Eagle Lake Woodworking to see the rest of the videos in this series and videos on other woodworking topics. You can access all parts of the videos in one easy viewer. Check out the photo galleries of in-process work, measured drawings, and finished projects. You can also download files associated with projects. So check it out at www.eaglelakewoodworking.com.